Hello everyone and welcome to the third video of the Elemental Extraction series and today we're going to be talking about lithium. Lithium is the very first of the alkali metals and accordingly it's very very reactive. So I have three samples here that come from different sources and you can see uh, they're pretty tarnished. Now, you would think of uh, metal as being shiny and lithium is uh, but it tarnishes extremely easy so it's very very hard to keep it nice and shiny. Um, so generally, you want to store it under mineral oil or inert gas, which is what I have. Uh, both of these are, are doing that. Um, so this one is under mineral oil, so you can see the little bubble there. And what's interesting about lithium is it has an extremely low density. So you might be able to see on the bottom of the tube here, it's not really reaching the bottom of the vial. Um, because it's so lightweight, it'll float on basically everything. There, I don't believe that there is an inert solvent that you can store lithium under that it will not float on. So that's kind of amazing. And of course it'll float on water just like all the rest of the alkali metals. So that's the mineral oil. And then this jar I have here is under argon. You can see some of these pieces are reasonably shiny, uh, but for the most part are pretty black. And uh, then I have a third vial here of lithium that was left out a little bit too long. And this is uh, all crusted in white stuff. Um, and so what all this stuff is, is uh, lithium is the only metal that reacts with nitrogen at standard conditions. So this black material is actually lithium nitride. So it combines with nitrogen straight out of the air uh, to form a compound, which is really pretty amazing. And then this white coating here is a lithium hydroxide or lithium carbonate. So one of the cool properties of lithium is that it's very, very easy to cut. And again, that's a property that it shares with all of the rest of the alkali metals. So I'm going to just cut this. Um, so you can see how easy it is. So just very gentle pressure and it goes right through and uh, we cut it open and you can see there's a bright and shiny surface that's revealed to start with but really quickly it tarnishes. So it was shiny a second ago and now it's almost completely black within a just a few seconds. So that kind of demonstrates uh, how difficult it is to work with lithium because it reacts so quickly with just about everything in the air. And of course, probably the most well-known property of lithium and all the alkali metals is that they react with water. Um, so here is just a, a small dish of distilled water and I, I dissolved a few drops of phenolphthalein solution in there. Uh, phenolphthalein is an indicator that will change colors in the presence of a base. So this is going to demonstrate that uh, one of the things that this reaction produces is lithium hydroxide, the other being hydrogen gas. So here's the piece that I sliced earlier and uh, we're just going to pop this into the water and observe what happens. So we get an awesome color change from the, from the indicator and I see they're dancing around a little bit. What's cool about lithium is it's, well, I guess it shares this with all of their alkalis too, but it's incredibly low density, lets it float on water. Uh, so you see it's just hopping around on the surface there, fizzing away. Uh, lithium is very reactive as you can see. Uh, it's not quite as reactive as the other alkali metals, but uh, we'll see that as we go through the series. But you can see within a few seconds, that, that whole chunk of lithium has uh, dissolved completely and we're left with a very basic solution. So one of the other interesting properties about lithium is that its compounds are able to color flames a very bright crimson red color. And that's used in something called the flame test. So I have a toothpick that I dipped in some water and I dipped that into some lithium hydroxide powder. And uh, I'm going to immerse that into a flame and you'll be able to see the colors. All right, those are a few properties of lithium. So now let's get to the actual extraction part of the video. Now I'm going to extract lithium from a battery and it's a very particular type of battery. It's this Energizer Ultimate Lithium battery. And uh, this is, from, to my knowledge, the only type of battery that uses this particular chemistry that I need. This is a lithium battery, not a lithium ion battery. Lithium ion batteries are the ones that are in your cell phones and they're generally rechargeable batteries they use a completely different chemistry than this particular battery. Lithium ion batteries, I believe, have some kind of lithium compound in them. This battery actually has a solid lithium metal foil in it, which is where I got this particular sample. Uh, this is, it looks like a solid rod, but it's actually, it's a roll. I don't know if you can tell that or not. It's a, it's a rolled up uh, foil of lithium. And that foil of lithium is what's in this battery. So I'm gonna attempt to cut this open and retrieve the lithium from it. Now, uh, as you can see from my other sample, it is highly oxidized. 
Uh, so it's got, well actually, I guess nit nitridized. <laughs> it's got that nitride coating on it, the black nitride. Uh, so that doesn't look very pretty. So we're going to use my glove box that I designed in a previous video. And we're going to try to open this battery up under inert atmosphere and see if we can get a nicer looking sample than uh, this one. All right, we're out in the garage now and I've got the glove box set up and the argon is uh, flowing into it. And while it's filling up, I wanted to go over what exactly we're going to be doing here. So I've seen people that take apart these batteries in videos and uh, a lot of times they'll get like pliers and try to pry the end off. But you have to be careful that way because if you short circuit it, then the whole battery starts to heat up and it can, you know, react away to lithium. So I want to try to avoid that. So my solution is to use one of these uh, copper pipe cutters to actually cut this thing apart. Uh, so it's a little bit tougher because, uh, you know, obviously this, this pipe cutter is meant for copper pipes and uh, the, this battery casing is uh, steel or something. So it's a little bit harder to um, cut into. But it does work, and that's how I got my original sample. Uh, so all you do is you stick this in here and uh, tighten it a little bit, and then you just rotate the case, and there's a little wheel in there that cuts into it. So very, very simple. And you cut into a little bit, you tighten it a little bit, cut into a little bit more, um, and so on. Okay, I've got the glove box filled with argon and the, the valve is sealed and the argon supply is turned off. Um, you can see, hopefully, I've cut through the outer casing of the battery. So this should be fairly easy to get the top off, I hope. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> well, I, de I definitely cut into the ribbon a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> Um, so there's going to be a lot of uh, other stuff in here. You know, clearly there's some, some paper, uh, there's some black material, and all of this stuff is, you know, of course, that's the rest of the battery. Um, so let's see if maybe I can pull the rest of this out. So I don't really remember this being quite so hard to do the last time I did it. Uh, this has been quite an operation. You see, it's a mess in there. I still got uh, a good section of the battery is still together. Uh, there's still quite a lot in there, uh, but I am getting some lithium. So you can see these little uh, shiny bits that are scattered around in here. Uh, that's part of the lithium foil that uh, gets unrolled. So I have, um, here's, a, here's a small piece of what's in the battery. Um, this is a roll with several layers. There's a, t there's a uh, looks like a paper layer. There's a layer of black material on there, but uh, if you if you unroll it, um, you get this this metallic lithium. That's part of the, the layer as well. Um, so there's that's what the battery is. It's just a, a roll of different layers like this. Let me see if I can maybe show you a little bit better with this. Um, let's flip it over. So see how it's uh, metallic and, and shiny? Uh, you unroll it, and it's one long strip of actual lithium metal. And that's the stuff that we're after. So you saw how quickly the lithium tarnished in air. Um, in here, you can see it's remaining shiny for a very long time. So the uh, seven times purge is definitely the way to go for this. This is awesome. It's working so much better than it did before. Um, so what I've been doing is collecting the lithium and uh, putting it in a, a vial, uh, which of course is also full of argon. And uh, I'm doing that also just to, you know, to contain it, first of all, uh, so it's not just scattered around here. And also in case, you know, something goes wrong with the glove box, if there's a leak or something like that, uh, then the lithium will be well sealed um, in its own vial. So I'm going to keep on going. Uh, I don't think I'm going to film the whole process because it's, like I said, it's very difficult. I, I don't know how I was able to unroll the entire film uh, in, in one continuous roll in my other sample. Uh, maybe I just got lucky. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to keep going and uh, harvesting all of this, this metallic uh, lithium foil that's coming out of here. Um, hopefully you can see this. This is the inside of the battery. Uh, so there's that black material. That's one of the electrodes, I believe. There's a papery material. That's probably the electrolyte, the separator. And then the lithium metal foil is the, uh, the shiny uh, metallic bits that are in there. And uh, it's, it's, like I said, it's a, it's a coil that's tightly wound in there. And I think the problem I'm, 
I'm having here, I'm not able to get it out very easily. And I think the, uh, the pipe cutter that I used um, maybe pinches this metal inward and it kind of holds the, the foil and, and the innards in place. So I think that's possibly my problem. All right, here's what I was able to salvage out of the battery. Uh, you can see I've got a vial that's got some of the, the strips in there and I took some of the best ones and I put them in this uh, ampule here. So they're still awesome, nice and shiny. Um, I put a piece of tape over the top of the ampule to seal it in. And uh, I'm gonna take this out of the glove box now and uh, flame seal it permanently closed. So uh, assuming the atmosphere in there is uh, totally argon, this should stay shiny forever, or I hope so anyways. <laughs> All right, now to show that this is actually lithium, uh, let's repeat the same test we did earlier. So again, this is distilled water with a few drops of film failing indicator. And uh, I'll take one of these metal strips and possibly two of them just because they're so tiny and uh, drop it into the water. And look at that. Purple color, dissolution. It's actually uh, kind of a slow di dissolving compared to what it was before. I wonder if uh, the battery probably incorporates some kind of coating or something to, to rein in its reactivity. But it definitely is dissolving and it's definitely forming a, uh, a purple solution. So I think that's proof enough that this is indeed lithium metal. So I showed earlier that lithium compounds impart red colors to flames. Uh, but I've heard that, that lithium metal itself actually burns with a bright white color, uh, sort of like magnesium. So here's one of the strips that I just took out of the vial and you can see it's instantly has tarnished. Um, so let's try to light this and see if that behaves like I expect it will. Ooh, look at the nice red color. Well, that's beautiful red. That's like a molten bead of lithium right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're out back and we're ready to flame seal this thing. So here's the ampule uh, with the tape still sealing on top of it. And I'm gonna focus the flame on the neck of the, the ampule here, the thinnest part, and melt it closed. All right, so here we go. And hopefully I won't uh, catch this tape on fire. So again, you hold it and then I'm, I've got some pliers that I'm gonna grip the top of it with and just pull gently, pull it gently apart. Oop. It looks like it's catching fire a little bit. You can see how the neck is starting to melt. And again, just a gentle pulling motion. That's all that's needed. And we'll polish the end. And there you go. Flame sealed ampule. So there you have it, obtaining nice shiny lithium metal from a battery. Now, if you try this at home, um, just be really super careful with it. When I was cutting these batteries apart, they were getting really hot. So clearly I was short circuiting them. And uh, you know, that can be dangerous if, if uh, things get out of hand. So I, be, having the glove box, I was pretty confident in, in being able to do it safely just because I had that barrier between me and the, and the battery in case it was producing any sort of noxious gases or if it caught fire or anything like that, it would all be contained, I think. Um, but again, if you won't try this, just be extremely careful uh, with all of the materials. And lithium itself, uh, especially when it's hot, is a very, very powerful reducing agent and can be, can be dangerous in itself. But that being said, uh, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.